Hello guys, this is my very first video on uh, YouTube, um, so I hope things go well. I decided to do a video on um, drone and quadcopters and hexcopters because I did a lot of research and I was a bit disappointed on what I found. So this, is, this will be based on the 450 size a quad using the Q450 frame from um, Hobby King. But I actually got this from uh, redflight.com in Edmonton. Um, it's closer. So this is version 3. For those of you who might have seen version 1 or 2 before, version 3, according to Hobby King, is more solid. There is more plastic here in the arm. And also, they say that the plates are of uh, better quality. And I have to agree, it's, uh, it's very, very nicely made. I'd like to compare with an original D, DJI plate. Um, they look identical, and this is like very, very nice. You uh, can judge the quality of a component like that by looking at, at its weight, because we have four arms, then we can see if they are similar in terms of weight. So let's have a look here on my scale. My scale is precise to plus or minus one gram. So I have 50 grams for this one. I have 51 for this one. 51 also. And 51. So they are very, very close. Uh, Hobby King claims that the weight of their frame is 270 grams. So if we put everything together, just to check here, see the weight of everything. I don't have the screws, but that's fine. So I get 268. So with the screws, we would get uh, 270. So this is good. <clears throat> My only little problem is that by making the arm so strong, and believe me, it is very strong. If you do have a crash, instead of breaking the arm here, what will happen, most likely, is that you will break the plate. Either the top plate, or the bottom plate, or both of them. And this is difficult to change. You have to remove all your, your equipment and your wires. So in case of a crash, like a minor crash, I would actually prefer to see this break and have a couple of these in my spare parts. Second, the motors. I decided to go for the sunny sky and I have eight. I have four of the 1500 kV and I have four of the 980 kV. And the reason I did that was that I want to, I want to, to try different configurations. Like I'm going to install the 1500 with eight inch blades and I'm going to install the 980 with the 10 inch blades. And I will see how this will affect the flight of my quad. Uh, these are very, uh, very uh, happy with the build. Uh, look at the construction. You can actually judge the quality of a motor, for example, by looking at the fit. So if you look at the prop adapter, uh, you can see that on the video, but if I pull them apart, the fit is so tight that I can feel the vacuum out of the of the prop, the space. So very, 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 very tight tolerance. And also, I'm a designer, so I can tell you that you can judge the quality by the label. Look at the MacBook, for example, the nice logo, or look at Bose uh, headsets. Again, if you look at the labeling, well done, straight, you can read everything correctly. So this is an indication of a good quality motor. So Sunny Sky on their website claims that the weight of the motor, the 1500 is 44 grams. So I'm going to comment on that. It is 44 exactly, but you need the prop adapter. By the time you add this and the, a few screws, you go up to 48. Not a big difference, but that's something that I want to mention. So again, I'm very happy with the motors. For the uh, speed controls, I decided to go with the uh, 
the Afro 30 amps because I want to reuse them eventually on a hexcopter. Uh, and on websites, they say that, and I bought these from uh, Red Flight uh, also uh, in Edmonton. Uh, we can also get them from Multirotter uh, Canada.ca here in Canada. So I prefer to buy my stuff locally instead of waiting for like five weeks to get stuff from China, if you ever get it. Um, so it says firmware Afro NFNFET.hex, but this is supposed to be um, Simon K firmware. So I don't like it when I buy something and the label doesn't match what I bought. Just a comment. Also, uh, build quality is so so like the sticker, as you can see here. It's a bit, it's a bit flimsy. Looks fine. The quality of the PCB is good though. Uh, the, the cables also are well made, so this is okay. Um, oh, and the weight also, because we're building something that will fly, the weight is 26.5 grams according to Hobby King. 26.5 and this is 27. Bang on. For the receiver, I decided to go with the orange. Uh, very simple, very cheap. I think it was $15. You can also get that in North America, probably in Europe also. And the weight is amazing. It's only 10 grams. Very, very light. The uh, flight controller, I decided to go for, for now, for the KK 2.1, which is the replacement to the KK 2.0. So I got that, uh, this one here also in Canada. You can buy it from Hobby King. It's a bit flimsy, like I got it, the parts were off, like the screen was off like that, the holder was off also. Uh, the labeling for the inputs from your receiver are under here, so, but, so when you glue it, you can't see. So you have to download the manual from Hobby King to be able to see where you're supposed to put your cables. It's in the back here. Quality of the PCB is also very so-so. Remember my comment about labeling? You can hardly read the Hextronic name here in the back. So it's not good quality. And when I see a part like that, I actually question the quality of the components. And in this case, we have three gyros. We have three ACCs. Um, hopefully this flies okay. If not, my plan B is to go with the NASA light. Uh, you'll need cables also, and don't, uh, don't forget the cables. Um, you'll need sets of servo lead cable like that. They're very cheap, so I bought 10 centimeters long and 20 centimeters. You will need uh, cables for your power. I'm not going to weld my stuff because I want to rebuild different configurations. So this is a cable for four ESCs. I have six also. This is a cable for LEDs, uh, you might as well buy different cables uh, like this one, an extension that you might, you might need for your balance cable. This is here a Y adapter for a balance connector, so I can connect LEDs and I can connect my gimbal. So I'm going to build my quad and do a video with that. But my second video will be about accessories. I'm going to talk about the um, landing gear, the gimbal I got from China, uh, some weights, the camera also I'm using. I'm using a Mobius camera. And we'll talk about the, uh, the uh, LEDs a bit more. But before I finish, I just want to talk about the blades. This is the Dubro blade balancer. Uh, it's very precise. This blade here is fine. There's a good video from Hobby King, uh, sorry, from Horizon Hobby, showing how to balance uh, blades. You have to balance the blades and also the hub. So this one is not perfect, but it's not too bad. Just to show you how accurate this device is, I'll use a small piece of scotch tape that I'll put here, and I'll put this back here. And look, amazing. The weight of that scotch tape is probably 0 0.001 gram. 
but when you look at that, it's just amazing that this little piece of scotch tape will make such a difference. So thank you for watching. This is my first video, like I said. I hope you learn a few things. Like I said, I decided to go with Sunny Sky because of good reviews on the internet. I know lots of people buy the NTN motors from Hobby King. ESCs, uh, there are a few brands you can choose. I went with the Afro. And uh, so that's it for now. And thank you for watching.